Hey, Trinidad and Tobago, it's good to be back with you. In a recent video, we told you that the soldiers, uh, army, defense force would be joining the police in Trinidad in dealing with the issue of crime. After all, you're seeing some of these headlines like murder, robberies, break-ins on Republic Day, that killed after visiting children. It is getting really, really, really terrible uh, to say. Uh, cop soldiers hit the streets and the DCP increased city patrols begin. The soldiers are moving along now with the police in a show of force because, look, it's getting really, really terrible. We're going to get into that right now. But remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we do new videos. So let's start with this one. Cop soldiers hit the streets in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, it says the Joint Task Force 1 operation that began since Monday was officially announced during a police regiment walkabout in downtown Porto, Spain. During these two operations, citizens are expected to see stepped-up patrols with both police and soldiers, and the operation has started in Porto, Spain Division, the Western Division, the Eastern Division, the Central Division, and the Southern Division. DCP Operations Junior Benjamin told the media this is where we seek to increase the presence of both the police and the defense force so that persons could feel free. I mean, if you listen to a lot of folks in Trinidad on the blogs, on Facebook, Instagram, the crime is really out of control per se. It's, and it's like all over the Caribbean, it looks like it's just wreaking havoc right now. We don't produce guns. But guns are just taking the life of the people in the Caribbean. He continued, as you, the public, continue to travel us the streets, you will see more presence of that joint operations. And we are also talking to business community and find out their challenges, see what needs to be done to ensure a safer and better Trinidad and Tobago. This is going to be a long operation. This is going to be a massive operation because the people of Trinidad and Tobago need relief from this crime issue that is taking place. And like I said, it's not Trinidad alone, you know. It seems that the whole Caribbean is in problems right now in torment when it comes to crime. Asked if he felt that crime was under control, following a similar question asked of him weeks earlier, Benjamin said, the reality is that the crimes we see taking place, the brazenness of people might find themselves in a place where mentally they can feel like it is not under control. And this is the reason we're putting these strategies out there. I mean, it just, it's just brazen. It's really brazen the way they operate. Look at um, Minister uh, D.L. Singh. He was robbed, he said, in broad daylight. You remember that? And that's another problem that the police are facing in the Caribbean when it comes to evidence. People don't want to collaborate with the police because they're saying by the time they leave the police station or by the time they finish giving information on the phone, somebody's knocking at their door and they're in problems. He reported that they had already spoken to a few businessmen who told him that things were more or less okay in terms of safety, but their main concern was about lastly. He also said that collaboration was the key. Do you remember uh, just on Republic Day, there was so many robberies, break-ins. That's on Republic Day. When moments after telling his children goodbye, a 39-year-old man was shot and killed on September 24th, Republic Day. The victim, Marlon Bradley, was fatally shot after spending time with his children at their mother's home. This was one of the several serious crimes committed during the public holiday. Reports say he left the house at around 10.57 p.m. and while walking out of the yard, he was shot several times. So here's a guy just saying goodbye to his children and then he was just shot, killed. Someone might say, well, at least he spent the last moments with his children, but this is just terrible. They're going to grow up without um, a father. Unrelated incident in a brazen daytime robbery, a young couple was robbed around 4.40 p.m. while walking along Bridge Road near Savannah on September 24th as well. They took the Samsung phones away from them. They took a wallet containing ID card, driver's permit, bank cards, about $2,000 plus in cash. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And here's a crazy one, and yet another unrelated incident. A 27-year-old woman was robbed in a room shortly after going to bed. Imagine just... Finishing a hard day, turning off the lights, saying, okay, let me rest my head now. We'll get a good night rest. And immediately you put your head on the pillow. Someone says, don't go to sleep it. I need what you have in the house. It's just ridiculous. The victim said at around 10.30 p.m. on September 23rd, she and her family secured their home and went to sleep. And when she woke up around 6.30 on the next day, I found her bedroom was ransacked. There was a 60-year-old man who was robbed. 
after he secured it and left around 9 p.m. Reports said the man returned on September 24th, again on Republic at around 7 p.m. and discovered several tools missing, including a red Lincoln welding plant valued at $12,000, a mask, a welding mask, $1,000, and a power saw for $8,000. The situation is definitely out of control, and this is why the soldiers are now on the streets with the police uh, to reinforce uh, the position of the authority law enforcement on the island that is a serious situation and that is why i think the last time a lot of you left comments and said that there needs to be a more uh, cohesive approach in terms of the opposition and the government working together instead of politicizing the issue of the crime situation in trinidad and tobago Let's hope that we get some results from this and make it safer for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. All right. So thanks for uh, viewing the video and remember to like, share and subscribe.